this is one of the first times this semester that you're going to hear the word thesis, and I can guarantee you it won't be the last. You also hear the phrase working thesis, and they're slightly different um, when you're at the beginning stages of writing a long important research paper, you'll have a work in progress, some ideas, some fuzzy thoughts about what the main point of this six to ten page paper might be. And it sounds so simple. What's the main point of your research paper? One sentence, one clear sentence that states everything. And sometimes you struggle with that because you want to use two or three or four or five sentences, but you really have to condense it down to one clear sentence and it has to be defensible. It can't just be a fact. It can't be a question. It has to be a statement that you marshal in evidence in your own narrative writing to support and convince the reader that you're right. Uh, a working thesis uh, gives you a reason to go to the library and start poking around. Uh, I'll give you an, a great example. Um, I had a student a few years ago who was a baseball player at the Shasta College baseball team. And he said, I want to write a research paper about performance enhancing supplements that are legal and safe. And I'm going to propose that androsamine is a legal, safe performance enhancing substance that I can take and my fellow ball players can take. Um, and um, so I said, sure, it sounds like a good, good idea for a paper. Let's go to the library and start doing some research. And he sent me an email saying, oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm going to do. My research paper is ruined. I discovered that androsamine is actually very bad for your health, that it can cause liver damage, that it can cause uh, very similar um, symptoms to uh, taking illegal steroids. What am I going to do? My paper is ruined. <laughs> I said, no, this is perfect. This is exactly why you do research, because you go to the library to find out the truth, right? And, uh, you know, back in those days, it was go to the library, physically go to the library. Now you start poking around through the Internet and um, go to the library using the Internet as a channel to get in and do research. But the point is he had a working thesis. He discovered that it needed to be changed. He wrote a great paper saying that androsamine was not a safe performance enhancing drug. And um, and then he wrote the paper and he shared it with his fellow uh, players on the baseball team. And they all start looking because Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds, people like that were using androsamine, hitting lots of home runs, running faster and, you know, uh, gaining strength. But it was really a bad drug. So that's a classic example of having a working thesis, a main point for a paper. The research paper that you're going to write this semester, you're in the very, very early stages of brainstorming brainstorming, playing around with ideas. Um, you're not stuck to anything that you propose this week. This is just uh, the early, early stages of thinking it through, thinking about what you might want to write about. Later on, a couple of weeks from now, you will make a formal proposal for your research paper topic. But for right now, just play around with it. Just brainstorm. Have some fun. Don't take it too seriously, okay?